Yeah, thank you very much. So as was stated, uh, I'm here to present a webinar on HVAC and GMP environmental control, specifically for pharmaceutical clean rooms. Now let's start off with the um, definition of a clean room. This is the most comprehensive definition I was able to find. A room in which the air supply, air distribution, filtration of air supply, materials of construction, personnel and operating procedures are regulated to control airborne particle concentrations so that appropriate air cleanliness levels can be met. Now, uh, what are the regulations um, out there concerning pharmaceutical clean rooms? Well, uh, GMPs, the CFR 211.42C, states aseptic processing, which includes as appropriate floors, walls, and ceilings of smooth, hard surfaces that are easily cleanable. Secondly, temperature and humidity controls. Thirdly, an air supply filtered through high-efficiency particulate air or HEPA filters under positive pressure regardless of whether the flow is laminar or non-laminar. Four, a system for monitoring environmental conditions. Five, a system for cleaning and disinfecting the room and equipment to produce aseptic conditions. And finally, six, a system for maintaining any equipment used to control the aseptic conditions. Now, there's another uh, GMP reference, CFR 211.46, that states that adequate ventilation shall be provided Equipment for adequate control over air pressure, microorganisms, dust, humidity, and temperature shall be provided when appropriate for the manufacture, processing, packing, or holding of a drug product. Also, air filtration systems, including pre-filters and particulate matter air filters, shall be used when appropriate on air supplies to production areas. If the air is recirculated to production areas, measures shall be taken to control the recirculation of dust from production. In areas where air contamination occurs during production, there shall be adequate exhaust systems or other systems adequate to control contaminants. Also, specifically, air handling systems for the manufacture, processing, and packing of penicillin shall be completely separate from those for other drug products for human use. Now, um, included in these regulations are classifications. Now, the, of, of clean rooms. Now, the FDA guidelines for aseptic processing back in 2004 came up with the following specifications. Um, and you can see the ISO 14644-1 designation there, uh, class 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now, in the uh, most clean room, cl ISO class 5, uh, the number of particles greater than 0 0.5 micron per cubic foot is 100. And going across there, number of particles greater than 0.5 microns per meter cubed is 3,520. It also has uh, microbiological limits um, for air, active air action levels. Uh, you can see that uh, ISO 5 has a, a limit of not more than 1 CFU or colony forming units per meter cubed. It's also got an optional uh, microbiological settling plate um, specification for a um, settling plate 90 millimeters in diameter uh, and exposed for four hours, uh, the limit is not more than one CFU um, per, per uh, plate. And you can see that uh, also there's the other classifications there. Now, over in Europe, EMEA Annex 1 has a separate set of um, specifications for particulates. Uh, and they, they classify the rooms as grade A, B, C, and D. Now you can another difference is they have uh, specifications for at rest and in operation. And going across there, you can see that uh, for a grade A, uh, which is approximately equal to uh, uh, classification 5 from ISO, um, it's not more than 3,520 particles per meter cubed. Um, uh, it, of 0 0.05 microns in diameter. And you can also see that they've got specifications for 5 micron particles as well. Now, uh, EMEA also has specifications for micro 